Hello and welcomes back everyone. And for Wolf here with even more Deus Ex Human Revolution, the Director's Cut. Where we last left off, we had just started again. Introduced our character, Adam Jensen, and the attack on Saraf Industries six months ago. We are now back in Saraf Industries, and apparently a hostage situation is underway, which is why we've been recalled while we've been on medical leave. As you can see in the top left and bottom left of the screen, our visual augmentation is acting up. We're going to go see Pritchard, or Pritchard, and see if he can sort that out before we go see David Sarif once again. Before we do that, though, let's look at our various um, user displays. We have our current mission log. Obviously, six months has passed, but Sarif Industries is facing a new crisis. We need to fix up our retinal display. We need to see if Pritchard can recalibrate it before we go and see David Sarif. We have an inventory here. I've turned off automatic inventory um, like sorting. Obviously, we have some blank spaces here. I think if we play with our augmentations, more of our inventory will become available because we'll be able to carry more weight. And we have like a inventory slot for quest items as well. We have nothing in our inventory right now due to having, well, even in the original Deus Ex Human Revolution game, I had some DLC weapons, but I think we also get them in the director's cut. So later on, there will be some weapons we don't actually pick up from enemies we encounter. This is our augmentation screen. Obviously, Adam Jensen six months ago six months ago wasn't augmented at all but due to what occurred David Sarif has kindly decided to implant Adam Jensen with a variety of different augmentations enhancements into his body now various ones are already active by say the one of two two of two here but various auger Ugger, that's a word, other augmentations require something known as Paraxis. We gain Paraxis by gaining experience. I think it's what every... is it 5,000 experience? We unlock a Paraxis, which can then be spent in improving or unlocking some of Jensen's augmentations. Now some we may never play with, some we may want to beeline for. Obviously, what we have at the moment, we have the info link, which we saw used when we had a communication from David Sarif. We can receive communications without being overheard. And we have a subvocal communication implant allowing us to communicate without giving the word, like responding audibly, which would be handy. We have. A level 1 radar system allowing us to track hostiles on our minimap, which I think is what's in the bottom left there. We can improve that, increasing our radar range. We have the ability to hack terminals. We can hack level 1 terminals right now. And we can deactivate cameras connected to security systems. Obviously, we can unlock the potential to unlock level 2 to level 5 terminals as well. Okay. Let's have a look. We also can fortify some nodes. We will be looking at the hacking tutorial or the hacking minigame when we get further into the game itself. Fortifying is something we probably won't do too much of, but yeah, we'll explain that later. We have a battery and... We can currently recharge partially just depleted energy cells, and we have two energy cells which we can make use of. Energy cells you can you use for various features in the game. Various abilities require Adam Jensen to use energy or energy cells in his body. We have a health system which allows us to regenerate health. Okay. A defibrillator, handy. We have some cybernetic arm enhancements. We can instantly take down a single individual, but it does take one energy cell to use. 
We can punch through walls eventually, if we so choose. Or we can pick up and throw heavy or heavier objects. Or we could increase our inventory size, and this is where you increase your carry weight. And we have an, uh, unlocked a bonus to our retinal, um, well, our eyes, basically. At the moment, we can see things on our heads-up display. Other possible upgrades are cooldown timer and a flash suppressant, which may be handy in the future. Obviously, there are various other upgrades that we can have on our back. We can increase, um, we can give our skin dermal armor, or say a cloaking system. We can improve our legs, allowing ourselves to move faster or move silently. And various other things as well. Once we have some praxis, we'll see what we can upgrade. Obviously, one of the first ones we may want to beeline for is the social enhancer, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, what else do we have? We have a map. You are here. Can we rotate it? Um, doesn't look like we can. Obviously, we are here. Various staircases. We have bathrooms. We have an elevator. We have a few different levels. We may make use of the map. I can't remember how often I used it in my playthrough two years ago. And finally, we have the media log. Obviously, these are emails we read from Megan Reed's terminal six months ago. But some of these um, bits of media may come in handy. They may have passwords or relevant information to whatever mission we may be on. And obviously, these are ones we picked up at Saraf headquarters, but we could later on find some, say, in our own house or various other places we may, we may visit down the line. And we have an ebook that we picked up about Patient X. Ebooks and emails. Okay, so, welcome to Saraf Industries once again. Let's get ourselves underway. Let's check in with reception. Mr. Jensen, I didn't think you'd... Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. Excellent. I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. Thank you, Cindy. So, we could talk to more people. We'll go sort out our retinal... Jensen, isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's almost fully recovered. His body accepted augmentations with remarkable ease, but that doesn't mean his mind did. We all know what happened when he was with SWAT. The Mexican town massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? I'm just saying he's too much of a risk. Hi, I'm right in, fr right in front of you. Are you going to say that to my face? Jensen, uh, didn't hear you coming. You should probably be heading for the helipad, don't you think? So we can inform him? Or we can confront him? Care to repeat what you were saying about me to my face, Peterson? Hey, hey, listen. I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> I'm just tense about the Milwaukee Junction situation. Everybody is. And you think telling people that their chief of security isn't up to the job is a good way to make them feel better? No, no, that's that's not what I... Look, Jensen, everybody here knows what happened to you six months ago. Normal people don't recover from augmentation surgery this fast. I guess I'm not normal, then. Apparently not. Glad we could clear that up. Oh, and for the record... I wasn't kicked off the force. I quit. That's not what the papers said. 
The papers lie. <laughs> there we go. So let's go see Pritchard. I don't like him, but at the same time, he does his job. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Look, David cares about his people, but he needs to protect his client's interests. Don't worry, I'm sure he's got a plan. Hmm. So David's not sending in the SWAT team to deal with the hostage situation. Hello, it's been a while. About time, what happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. The retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough... Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikes blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. <laughs> Where are you, Adam? You don't have time to mess around. Get to the helipad, or something seriously bad is going to happen. Okay, that's a non too subtle hint that we should probably get ourselves over. We can't access Pritchard's um, terminal at the moment. We can have a look at this. Is it Final Fantasy 27 wallpaper? I mean, 27 Final Fantasies? Really? I mean, we're up to 15 so far, so anything's possible. I guess. Now, there is things we can do here in Seraph Industries, but we best keep in mind that it sounds like things could go from bad to worse. At the... was it the Milwaukee... Junction. So let's get ourselves over to the helipad already. We can investigate Saraf Industries later. At least I think so. I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. Okay. With those hearings Eliza Kassan once again. The last attack and the Washington hearings being postponed. Now this. Damn fanatics. Do you think the news is right? That a pro-human group is behind this, Mr. Cannon? Don't spread rumors, Dabell. Sorry, sir. As if working so much wasn't bad enough, we got to defend ourselves against a bunch of self-righteous lunatics being so understaffed. You're not complaining now, are you, Dobell? No, Mr. Cannon. Sorry. <laughs> I like this little flavor text between um, some of the employees. Here we are to the helipad. And we have uh, Farida Malik here. We heard her name from Megan, 
six months ago, but we haven't actually met her yet. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Hmm. I like Farida. We'll just try and reassure her. Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. So yeah, we could continue exploring Seraph Industries. There are a few things of interest that I definitely want to pick up, and I'm hoping they're still going to be available when we come back. If not, I'll just try a little inside. But let's get ourselves underway. We have people to save. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Takedowns can stun or kill. Just tap the key to stun or hold the key to kill. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right, so how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Hmm. We're gonna be going non-lethally. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Good question. We can take a stun gun, or we can take the tranquilizer rifle. Mm. I do think we find a stun gun quite early on, so we'll take the rifle. Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well... I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing.
And away they go. So we have our tranquilizer rifle. Can I holster that as well? I can. Good. Helipad Alpha 1 of Saraf Industries. Okay. Is there anything here we can pick up? It's always worthwhile exploring. There might be some things hidden from us. Ooh, cardboard box. Pest. Ah. Tilting my... Okay. Tilting my head to see if I could read that. So, obviously, we have our heads-up display. Yeah, we have our mini-map. At the top right, we have our health, which is at 100 right now, and underneath, how many energy cells we have currently unlocked. Now, I think because we're playing on the Give, Give Me Deus X difficulty, they only the first energy cell will actually recharge naturally, and we'll have to find methods to recharge our other energy cells as we unlock them. And obviously right now, at the bottom, we have our quick bar. We only have our tranquilizer rifle and nine rounds. Unfortunately, the ammunition also takes up slots in this game. So, yeah, you can be limited on what you can actually take with you. Especially, say, the rifle, because it takes up quite a lot of space. Jesus, finally. What's your boss hiding in that plant that's worth putting your own people's lives at stake, huh? You ready to go in? Good. Seen a few of them coming out for a smoke every now and again, so be careful. I'll take that warning. Oh, we have some lockers here. Anything of interest? Oh, hello. A Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar, which will recharge one energy cell. Someone really doesn't like Sarf Industries. Various cans of paint and cleaning utensils. Oh, appliances. I have another SWAT officer here. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. Maybe we can ask the SWAT officer about various things. Um... Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. Yeah, I think there's a fair few if I remember correctly. They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? Speaking of him... The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycled military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraf told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. I was going to ask about the other situations, actually. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. 
The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You'd know more about that than I would. Anything else? You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React team plan? We got Alpha as point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. <laughs> He's not happy about the situation, understandably. About fucking time. You know there are hostages in there, right? Yeah, we've heard already. Sounds good. Anything else? Ooh, hello. Painkillers. Painkillers. How much health do they recover? I guess they're a recovery item. Um, Temporary increase of 25 health points up to a maximum of 200. Okay. It can increase the health bar above its usual maximum if the health bars are already full. Hmm. Okay, good to know. So, let's quick save. This just gets us... Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. So yeah, there's a couple of ways we can gain access to the assembly plant. Obviously one of them, immediately as you can see, is this way. I think there is actually an entrance through a vent over here somewhere. Or you can go through the front door. There is falling damage in this game, so let's um, take it easy, shall we? Anything up here? Doesn't look like it, okay. Now, if we walk, I think we make a sound. Let's um, double check our augmentations. Um... Yeah, we don't have any augmentations right now. Run and walk silently. And that's sprint silently. And it does actually use... Some augmentations are passive and some are activated. And these, this one actually does consume energy. Hmm, okay. Worth knowing. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anything. I think when we're crouched, we make less noise. I'm not sure how quiet we are. I forgot what is the... I f what is, like, the noise level we create dif between the different modes of... Walking, running, and sprinting. I wonder, there might be an augmentation that tells us. Um, stealth Enhancer. Displays the range at which the, the noise you produce travels. Okay, so yeah, we need, to, we need to unlock noise feedback to learn that. Well, that's fine. Can we deal with this guy? Now you notice the button rather than... I think the default is Q. I've changed it to number pad 0. And we got certain... Um... Oh, hello. I'll take all this. Thank you. And I want to actually drag your body. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we gained a bit of experience because we were merciful. I 
I think you gain also bonus experience for, say, if you... We... No, I won't take your revolver. Can I get through here? Can I open this door? No. But yeah, I think you get experience for, like, doing headshots and such. So we have one, two... Oh! There's a third guard just up that uh, little stairway there. Can't see any more. Looks like there's some ammunition glinting on that box just ahead of us here. It might be worthwhile trying to take these people out. Oh, you've actually came down. So worth taking these people out. If one of their companions, say if I shot the guy in the distance there, this guy would see him fall over, he would then be alerted, which wouldn't be the best thing in the world. We don't really need to deal with these guys, we could just bypass them. Otherwise we could take them out for the experience, which may be worth doing. Decisions, decisions. Do I want to use the ammunition? I do want to explore this area, actually. So we might as well practice our combat abilities. Right now, we're going to try and get you. I think I missed. Oh, he's alerted. I think he may have heard the shot go by him. How was my accuracy there while he's doing that? Yeah, you'll notice there's a bit of a... Um, a bit unsteady. Is there a way we can enhance our aim? That's another thing that may be important. Um, it's probably in our arms, I imagine. Is there like a steady... Ah, uh, that's recoil. Which... Isn't what I was thinking of. That enhances sprint. Ah, aim stabilizer. Movement induced aiming penalties. Hmm. Smart vision allows you to see through walls. Okay, so not what I was thinking. Okay, where's... Okay, he's still patrolling. We'll give it one more try. I don't want to spend too much time here, but I would like to give it a go. Once this guy starts patrolling again. Okay. I want to get uh oh I think we missed a guy Yeah, I think we messed up again. M missing with this tranquilizer rifle. But thankfully he didn't see his um, companion here get taken out. But you can see our energy cell very slowly recharging. So right now we can't actually take down another guard using the takedown ability. We will need to improve our energy cell recharge rate. It's something we're definitely going to look into early. It's like early on. Damn, I'm a really bad shot. Okay, this guy is alarmed now. 
You can see it in the bottom left on the map there. I think that X means that's where he thinks the shot came from. So yellow is aware or nervous. Whereas grey is unalarmed. Okay, let's try this again. Crap! Okay, we didn't get a headshot, but we did gain 30 experience. One for taking him out and... Like, 10 for taking him out and 2 for taking him out non-lethally. And then this guy... Hey there. So I guess expedient means we took him out with a with a takedown. Not too sure. I think that might have been the only free, so we can move a bit more freely now. Combat rifle ammo. Is there something here? Was there a way? Hmm. I think there was a way to get aha under here. And then into here. That's right. Hmm. Was there any reason to be in here though? Oh. Uh, ah. Stun gun darts, which would be handy if we had a stun gun. Yeah, we could use this as like a, a vent to avoid the patrolling guard. Is anyone else around? Let's save just in case. No, there's no one else going on the map. We can use the mini map as well to see if there's any guards patrolling. So we could go through this door here. Um, probably not recommended. I'd rather go through the rooftop access. Is there anything else we can pick up? Can't see anything highlighted. Okay. We probably don't want to go that way, do we? Thankfully. We can bypass it. And shut it off by turning off the breaker. And we gain experience for just exploring a little. Oh, there's the SWAT team. Okay, I think this is probably a good point to end this video. We haven't done much. Very slow beginning. Openly admit to that. But we'll start picking up speed as we finish getting through all the little tutorial bits and actually start getting into the action. So, when we come back, we'll gain access to the assembly plant, rescue those hostages, and see if we can find this pro-human leader, Zeke Sanders. This, of course, has been Anthwolf playing Deus Ex Human Revolution once again. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye-bye now.